All right, Shalom. Shalom, Shalom. Giving all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule impeccably well. And uh, Shalom to the Arkim that's pushing his truth throughout the four winds in sincerity, in the sincere hopes of being delivered in these last days, man, you know. Okay. Uh, it's the brother Yakunan, GMS London Central. I've got the brother Raza. Um, also, you know, GMS London Central. Um, we're just on our way to camp. And you know, uh, Spirit jumped on us, you know, to get a quick vid done, you know, um, just rolling in the spirit, really. And, um, yeah, can, can, can. Know. Hey, no, it was, um, what do you call it? I saw, you know, as well, what do you call it? It's going in the spirit. I saw, uh, what do you call it? Uh, 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 an article breaking news, and that says Japan's Naomi Osaka. Mm. Wins the uh, what do you call it? Wins Australian Open, and my thing is, wait, <laughs> Japan's Naomi Osaka, or Israel's Naomi Osaka, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, hey, because the thing is, is we, hey, the, the 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 scriptures say we're the salt of the earth, man. Kind, kind. Right. Anything good that happens, we we be the ones that are that that be behind it, man. That's right. When you ever heard anything good about Japan mm -hmm. concerning you know athleteism or anything like that, man? Yeah. But you know they they quickly want to lay hold of her because they're making the country look good. Exactly. You exactly. Know? And in these times, uh, would you call it she? Uh, uh, if she wasn't a rich and famous, she'd be referred to as a hafu. Yeah, hafu. Yeah, yeah, kind. All right. Because you had that um, the one they called a hafu. She won yep. the um, Miss, Miss Japan. Japan. Yeah. You know, and there was an uproar about that, man. But when you look at her, she was the most beautiful one, mm. literally on the actual slideshow, man. Yeah. So you know, a lot of people were cut off of that because she won. Yeah. You know, and it was like a disgrace to the the Japanese community. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's right. You know. That's right. And hey, if there are any so-called Ammonite looking ass. That are good at anything that Jake's anyway, man. Current. Right? It says uh, Matthew 5 13, ye are the salt of the earth. But if the salt have lost his savour, wherewith shall it be salted? Mm -hmm. Right? Uh, it is thence for good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. God. Right? So, hey, this, this is a, uh, uh, what you call it's written and read. Yeah, I was trying to say, look, man, the children of Israel, we're the salt of the earth. That's right. right. Nothing good happens on the earth if it wasn't if it wasn't for Jake, man. That's it, man. Hey, Romans eight and sixteen. If yep. you can, brother, yeah. Yeah. You know, because hey, like the brother said, yeah, we're the soul of the earth, man. We bring the flavor to the earth. We bring the good works, you know, to the earth. When it comes to inventions, you know, it's Jake that um, created all of these um, beautiful inventions that you have in the world that you use. You know, down to your Hoover, your fridge, mm -hmm. any you know minor thing that's used in this world. You know, it, it was brought to you by Jake, man. And the scriptures yeah. also talk about, I believe it's in the book of Psalms, about witty inventions, man. Right, right, you know, right. so it's Jake that is that is um, the inventor of all of these things upon the earth, man. Yep. You know, the Lord gave us that ability to to, 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 to have that mind, man. Because yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're sons of the living power, so only it's rightfully so that we should be doing these things. Well, P you know? people say they get inspired. Mm. Right, let's, let, let's just look up the word inspiration real quick. Right, uh, from the Etym Online Dictionary, uh, inspiration and noun circa 1300s, immediate influence of God or a God, mm. especially that under which holy books were written. Kind, right, kind. inspiration and hailing, breathing in. Yep. Right, hey, so with cer certain of these inventions, right, these guys were inspired, right, to to, to what do you call it, to to, to uh, uh, build and put some of these things together yep. by these jakes. And obviously, if we're Israel, the Lord is dealing with Israel. The yeah. Lord is going to put his spirit on us to come out and do certain things. Can't, can't. All inspiration comes from Yahweh Shem Yahweh okay. Even when you look at the um, the nuclear weapons, it's the Lord that put the exactly. inspiration upon, you know, the um, Edomites, you know, the Edomite scientists, mm -hmm. you know, Abraham, Esau, all of them guys that created that technology for the nukes to do that, man. Yep. For his evil work, man. Yep. You know? But anything that's, you know, going to be good in the world pretty much is going to come from Jake. That's right. You know? This is uh, Romans 8.16. The Spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High. God, that's right, man. The Spirit itself beareth witness of our spirit that we're the children of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Now, that's really, that's, you know, let's talk about the scriptures, you know, bearing witness of, with us that we're them children, man. You know, mm -hmm. we're them biblical Israelites. And being them people... That means that we have a special inheritance, man. Yep. And we have a special purpose upon the face of the earth. You know? That's right, that's right. You know, but pretty much you can tell our people, 
you know, from the spirit of the of our people, yeah. man. That's what gives them away, man. Yeah. Right? That's that's the identifying mark, so to speak, of an Israelite. It's his ability to do things, you know, the way he thinks, the way he moves, mm -hmm. you know, the way he functions in society, even on a low level. You know, you can still see, you know, our people, you know, uh, are, are those guys, man, because even on the lower state, you still have the other nations that have more money than us, they have more power than us, mm -hmm. but still our influence still influences them to try and act like us, man. Yeah. That is what you call power. That's spiritual power, man. That's right. You know? You don't see a, a piece of shit on the floor and aspire to be a piece of shit. <laughs> you know? So if you got a people that can do that, they got to be the Lord's people, man. That's right. You know? This is uh, Numbers 118. Where it says, And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month, and they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names from 20 years old and upwards by their poles. Okay. Right, so a, 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 an individual, right, their line goes through their father, man. Mm. Now Esau, <clears throat> Esau has, uh, has pushed madness upon the world, one by, you know, making pe people go around saying, yeah, I'm half this, uh, you know, two and two quarters that. Yeah. Right, he's also pushed a uh, 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 madness by way of them Amalekites, where, where them Amalekites be saying shit like, oh, it's through your mother's line. Mm. Right, and hey, the, the, the way the scriptures set it out is easy, so that's how you know. Like, for instance, we had them, uh, 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 uh them Jakes from Norway come to the camp last week, okay. right? And then, when uh, what you call it, when they were up there, it was like, Look, you know, you asked, So, what if you dealt with a white woman, your son will come up looking light skin, yeah. and if he deals with a white man, oh, you asked, So, how are we gonna look? He's like, He look more like a white man, yeah, he said it straight up, man, you know, and and that's how these things are, so that's that's the mystery of the Gentiles. Right, but it also uh, swings back to uh, 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 the whole, you know, is it Japan's uh, 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 Naomi Osaka or Israel's Naomi Osaka, man? Yeah, yeah. It's Israel's Naomi Osaka because, what, her dad's a Haitian, man. Correct, correct. Right, it's, you know, so-called Haitian, let me put it let me put it like that, you know, she'd be a Levite. Yeah. Right? But and the thing is, the spirit was on him because, if I remember correctly, he was like, the reason why he's got his mum's name, Run all of that is because he was like, Look, man, if I give you my name, you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he knew about the presence, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> for real, for real, man. That's right. God. Yeah, because look, man, where, uh, you know, as a people, when you go back to Deuteronomy 28, you know, mm. 15 on down to 68, we're a cursed people, man. Yeah. You know, so her father knew that having that affiliation, you know, on his side wasn't going to help her prosper in this world. Mm. You know, it's just like certain brothers, they can have um, the curse of leprosy mm. and they can do other things that yeah. another brother can't do in society yeah. based on that look. Now, they still catch hell, don't get yeah. me wrong. They're still going to catch, you know, levels of hell. But, you know, having that, that, that leprous um, skin is going to, you know, help you a little bit in society, you know, regarding certain things, mm. man. You know, that's just the way it is, you know, because people look on their outer appearance in this world, man. You know, and they want to see that fair skin. That's why you have a car system in India. Mm. You know, that, li that lighter yeah. skin, brother. Yeah, that lighter skin. Fair, stuff, fair, fair skin yeah, is beautiful fair skin. skin. Yeah, that's, that's beautiful. They ain't. <laughs> yeah, man, because that's the vibration yeah. of Esau. That's what he's put out there. Man. Yeah. You know, this is our First Corinthians seven thirty one. Just on that point, and they that use this world as not abusing it, mm. for the fashion of this world passes away. That's it, because the fashion of this world is gonna pass away, man. All them, you know, I ideas. And um, philosophies of Esau are going to come to an end very shortly, man. Because mm. we're in that time. You, you already know we're in the end, man. You oh, know, yeah. you, you see the things that are happening. You know, Israel, you know, has a spotlight right now. Mm. You know, so-called, you know, according to um, CNN, Fox News, Washington Post, so-called black Hebrew Israelites. Mm. You know, they're pushing that out there. <laughs> it's like I can say, they keep pushing black Hebrew Israelites. Yeah. And then who are they interviewing? Yeah, Chief yeah, yeah, Ephraim. Yeah, yeah. Chief <laughs> <laughs> You ain't even black, you see? <laughs> you see? Yeah, yeah, that, that's, that's, the, that's the witchcraft of Esau, yeah. man. You know, and even when you read the, the actual article that the Washington Post put out, they, they acknowledge, you know, Ephraimites, the Gadites, and mm. what we believe. But yet still, you go through the article, they're still putting black there. Why? Yeah. You just mentioned Native Americans, you don't class them as black, so why are you putting yeah. black there? Yeah. It doesn't make any sense, man. Yeah. But that's Esau, you know, cutting himself, man. Yeah. You know, and he doesn't even know it, because the whole thing just doesn't make sense of putting black in front of Hebrew Israelites. That's right. It doesn't make sense, man. That's and right. That's the devil for you. Hey, hey, Esau shot himself in the foot with that one, man. Can't. All right. Can't, man. Yeah, yeah. and also because you're uh, speaking about how, you know, you might have brothers that, 
you know, have got the, uh, you know, the, the, the curse of leprosy or, or, or they look like heathens or whatever. Yeah. Right, and a reason why I brought that, you, you, they that use the wall, because at the end of the day, man, hey, what is, what is, what is the name Jacob mean? Supplant. Yeah. yeah. Right? So, hey, man, if you can supplant in this world, as long as you're not abusing it, yeah, yeah. do what you got to do, man. Yeah, that's right, man. <laughs> you know, if you can get, if you're with brothers and you can get brothers a little better treatment, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> do what you got to do, man. Yeah, man, for real. You know, end of the day, look, man, the Lord, the Lord is balanced. Yeah, you might know, look like a leper on this side or whatever. Right, but hey, did, you know that that is esteemed in this world. Yeah, yeah. You know, so if you can make, would you, you can make things a bit easier in yourself? Why, why, why not, man? Yeah, that's it, man. It's like an example, a quick example we have. It's like, you know, when we used to go to certain places with brothers mm. to eat out, we'll make a particular brother deal with the people at the place because mm. he could speak their language, man. Yeah. And it made things a little bit better for us, yeah, yeah. you know, because you know the bro was supplying the situation, man. Because they thought he was one of them. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So look, man, that's that's you know that's how you gotta be sometimes in this world, man. You gotta supplant yourself. Cause oh, we, yeah, yeah, we are Jacob. We are supplanters. Yeah, for real. <laughs> <You know>? <laughs> <laughs> and when you finish supplanting, Esau has to say again and cry up to the heavens. Yeah. Is he not rightly called <laughs> Jacob? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's right, man. That's right. Yeah, it is right, man. This is uh, uh, Matthew ten sixteen. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be therefore wise as serpents mm. and harmless as doves. God, that's right. Wise as serpents and harmless as doves. And really, that's funny you bring that out because I was meant to bring it out, but I forgot it in my last sit down. Mm. But um, when you go to Ephesians five and fifteen, it talks about you know redeeming the days because the days are evil. Mm. Roughly paraphrasing. But we gotta be circumspect in these last days, man. Yeah. We gotta be, you know, harmless as um, doves and wise as serpents, like yeah. the scripture said. Because now we're coming into some real um, evil days where Esau is gonna try and, you know, set man exactly. up and make us exactly. look a certain way. So now is the time for us to be very circumspect and, you know, watch how you do things. Yep. You know, watch what you say on the highways and the byways, because yeah. Esau's looking for that ammo. Yeah. Man. That reason. Yeah, that we reason. don't we don't need to give him unnecessary exactly. ammo, man. All exactly. we gotta do is cheese the word. And you know, keep prophesying the truth for the scriptures, man. Yeah. Because that's 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 you know evidently what's bringing this kingdom down in the first place. Yeah. So that formula has worked. What the Lord has given us, yeah, so we can all keep using it. For real. You know. For real, for real. And hey, it's, it's beautiful you said that because uh, I would call it. I just uh, brother shared a video, okay. and I basically opened. And I jumped to a certain spot, and it happened to be one of Apostle Taha's videos. Mm. The spot that I jumped on. Was basically Apostle to heart, basically you saying, look, man, <laughs> he may be, be, be dealing with Edomites in the world, he'll shake his hand, man. Yeah, yeah. Right? Because hey, that's, that's the thing. I think he, there was a period of time when brothers would come in and they think this whole Israelite thing is about being a hard man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's in a hard man. And Apostle to heart made the point yeah. that Jacob kissed Esau, man. That's right, that's right. Oh, he fell on his neck and he kissed Esau, man. Yeah. Right? So that's part of that being wise as serpents, yeah. right? And harmless as does not, you know, why, why, why are you going, why are you going, go on a gun range? For? Yeah. Is, is that wise? Yeah, yeah. Is that being wrong. harmless? That's giving Esau a reason, man, you know, doing things like that. And I always refer back to this, it's like, you look at um, the way the apostles were defending themselves against the, um, against the Edomites when you read the scriptures man mm. they were defending themselves they were laying down what they'd done they've done nothing wrong yep. now, look, they, they were they were using um, wisdom Can't a man of no mean reputation something. exactly a city of yeah. no mean reputation yeah. they, they were defending themselves yep. man they were showing look we're, we're about peace man mm. we're just pushing our gospel which we believe is the truth mm. and that's what we're about man we're not about you know taking situations into our own hands man mm -hmm. and trying to force force the spirit yeah. you know the scriptures talk about not forcing the wars man so we ain't trying to do that, man. You know, we we wait we waiting upon you. How about Shimmy Al Shai? Yep, that's you know? right. Hey, and we and that's that's from whom we going to get the power because we ain't we ain't got power to do shit in this world. Okay. Right. We ain't got. Fact, let, let me uh, let me grab that real quick. Hey, but he sees the spirit because we didn't even want to go into this topic. Mm. But you know, the spirit just changed up the video, man. Yep. You know. That's right. Zephaniah three and eight. Therefore, wait ye upon me. Right, and that's that's plain and simple, man. That's it. Right, and hey, 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 did, you know, Paul was saying, look, man, if you want to do the whole gun thing, right? <laughs> if you want to put your faith in the gun and not the most yeah. high, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> then that's on you, man. Oh, that's in the scriptures, though. Mm -hmm. Who's lived by the sword or shall die by exactly. the sword? Exactly. You know. No, I was saying that's on you, man. But and at the end of the day, 
look, man, hey, don't be putting stuff like that out on TV, man, mm. or, or, you know, on, on, on the media, man. God. Right, because then, you know, brothers are now asking why, you know, why, why was you, why you do that? Yeah, yeah, why you do that? <laughs> <laughs> right? God. So, so therefore wait ye upon me, saith ye how, until the day that I rise up to the prey. So it's the it's the Lord that's gonna be rising up to the prey, man. Yep, 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 yep. Right? So this is what it says, for my determination, right? I believe that word determination, mashapat, uh is basically judgment, yeah, judgment, right? So the Lord's judgment, mm. right, is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them mine indignation, right? His yep, righteous yep. anger, even all my fierce anger. For all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. Right? Beautiful. Hey, so Lord, hey, man, hey, we don't have to do shit. <laughs> hey, you read Joel, it says how the Lord's going to gather the heathens round about, around the valley of Jehoshaphat, man. Yeah. How the, the valley of the Moses' judgment. Yep, Jehoshaphat. Yeah? Yep. And hey, the Lord's going to gather them there. And what's he going to do to them there? He's going to deal with them, man. We ain't going to do shit. That's it. The Lord's going to fight our battles, man. Right? That's right, man. Our big brother comes to defend us, man. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that's right. You know, no <laughs> one's, you got yourself in a, in a, in a messed up, uh, what do you call it, situation, which we're in a messed up situation, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. Hey, all our enemies round about want to hate us. All our, what do you call it? And then the thing is, whenever we do anything good, our enemies then want to take praise yeah. for, for those things that we do, man. Yeah, yeah. Right? You know, so then you find yourself in a fucked up situation, and your big, then then your big brother hears word of it. God. Right? It's like, wait, wait, what? <laughs> he comes down, <laughs> and the thing is, you know them, you know how it was, you know, you watch them films, and that, you know, a guy comes down, he brings a whole whole posse with him. Yeah, yeah. Right, and he says, yo, you touch him up, you, you say, yeah, you yeah, touch yeah, my yeah, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's funny because I took it to Carl by and I references in my last year. <laughs> <laughs> Cause that's what he said. He said, "Look, man, we just waiting on your house shy. Mm. You know, the big brother. You just point out. Him, <laughs> him, that's him, right. You know? And then he's just gonna deal with him, man. That's, that's what right. we do. We ain't taking it into our own hands. <laughs> right, those Edomites, those yep. Moabites, those Ammonites. You yep. know, all of those nations. We are gonna point them out. Then your house shy. Mm, gonna mm, do his mm. thing, man. Mm. You know, it's, it's it's a beautiful thing, man. Yep. Like, but that's what we waiting for. We ain't we're, we're men of peace, man." Yeah, you know? hey, yeah, Jerusalem, man. Yeah, right. So it's, it's, it's the people before it's a place. That's right. right. And moves at Ya Shalom, uh, Ya mm, right? Mm. A city of peace, man. We're a peaceful people, man. God. Right. That's why you read Proverbs twenty nine and two. What does the scripture say? In fact, let me just read that real quick. God. Uh, uh, yeah, man. Because look, man, we in the last days, brothers, man. Yeah. It's evident and it's very clear that we in the last days. So oh, yeah. things are going to turn up. Oh, oh Revelation is what twelve and twelve. Yep. You know. If we get that afterwards, we might as well finish that one after you read that one. This is when uh, Proverbs 29 and 2, when the righteous are in authority, mm. right? So the Israelites, the people rejoice. Right? But when the wicked bear for all the people mourn. That's right. right? Hey, hey, people be mourning out here, man. Right? You know, forget what it is they may say to you. <laughs> They're mourning, man. Yeah. Right? You know, uh, so which goes to show that it's the wicked that earn rulership. That's right. right. You see it on their faces. They may smile, they may do this, but really they're in mourning. Yep. Right, you know the the, the you, everyone's just through, man. Yeah, and they don't even know it. Yeah, people are mourning without even knowing it because they're so used to a low level of living. Yeah, you know a low standard of living. They don't even know what living is. Man. Exactly. You know, it's Revelation twelve and twelve. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. God. So, you know, these devils, you know, Esau, Edom, they know that they have but a short time in their current rulership, man. Mm. They know it's dwindling away. They know they're going to lose their power real soon. So what are they going to try and do? Like anyone, when I mean, you know you're losing a match, mm. what do you do, man? You, you put all your might in yeah. just towards the end of the match to try and hold on to the title. Yeah, and then say you start playing dirty, man. Yeah, you start, <laughs> <laughs> you start playing dirty. You start doing low blows. Yeah, yeah, You know, yeah, yeah, you start yeah. doing reckless things that... You see, basically, you start coming out of your character, yeah. you know, and being impulsive. That's right. You stud him when the ref's not looking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's cheating. happened off camera there? What's happening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You start cheating <laughs> and that, you know. You pay the ref off. The ref might be in on it. Yeah, you start bending the rules, you know. That's what's coming, man, where it's already started. Not even coming. It's already started, man, mm. you know. So, you know, that's why, look, man, now is the time. To be circumspect. That's right. Because the days are, are evil, man. That's you right. Know? 
and he's still going to try his best, but, you know, prophecy is going to be on our side, you know? Yahweh Shai is going to be on our side. That's right. You know? All the hosts are heaven. That's right. It was an unfair match, man. Yeah, to begin with, man, it was rigged. <laughs> it was rigged. It was rigged in our favor. The Lord, the Lord has a way of doing things, man. Yeah, yeah. Right, he let everyone rule, man. Yeah. Right now, they, you've all proven yourselves unworthy. That's right. That's right, man. So it's justified that this judgment is going to come down right. upon you in these last days, man. True. You know? Have you got anything else to say, hey, bro? Hey, look, man. Hey, hey the, Lord, the Lord's going to start showing the world who the Israelites are, man. Yep. All right, the inter Esau should have never invented the internet, man, but guess what? It weren't, it weren't of his hand. It was That's of the right. Lord's hand. Yep. Right, because, hey, you go on the internet. Because, hey, bro, the face of our online tech reviews is a so-called black man, man. Yeah. You know, that MKBHD guy, man, right? Because Jake, we, and, 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 you know, you're seeing Jake's doing certain things in this world, quote-unquote, mm. right? So, hey, you know, the all of Esau's Witchcraft and that Jake are just grimy ass niggas, man. Okay. But that's being wiped out the window. And yep. more so, do this Israelite thing, man. Yep. Like, do yep. these videos being preached throughout the world, right? And then, hey, it's gonna be beautiful because soon you're gonna start having, you know, you're basically gonna have a, you're gonna have just camps all over the world, man. That's right. Right, you're gonna have, you know, brothers knowing that there is a lot all over the world and how's you know, how's Esau gonna say black Hebrew Israelites yeah. when there's a you know a camp just full of Chinese yeah. China man? Yeah, what's <laughs> so, it gonna, and that's gonna happen. That's the thing, know. that's actually gonna happen, man. What the brother is saying, these things are actually gonna come to pass. Where it's gonna come a time he can't even say black Hebrew Israelites no mm -hmm. more. Cause you gotta have white camps popping up, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Pure like Romanian camps, like Turkish camps yeah. coming out of nowhere, man. Yeah. You know, then what are you gonna say? Yeah. He's just gonna say terrorist that that's strange. He's just gonna say the terrorist. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, the age old. <laughs> yeah. You're you gonna do away with the whole black is all right, Israelite like terrorist. Yeah. Simple. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know? That's right. So hey, it's it's, it's beautiful times to always prepare yourselves mentally also, because yeah. you know, there there are things that are gonna come of it. You know, you, you will your face, you just like how Chief Ephraim's face yep. is he's now infamous. Yeah, yeah. Right. He you know, he's he's a face of hate in the USA. Yeah. <laughs> You know, so hey, brothers, your you know, scriptures say that you shall be brought before kings and councils. Yeah, right. That's right, man. Hey, you know, whether them guys are doing the right thing or not, in, you know, concerning their doctrine and yep. look, man, it's the Lord that's controlling. That's right. Everything that's happening right now for His own agenda. That's, that's what right. you gotta remember, man. So who's going off is going off. They're still gonna get judged for it, mm. but the Lord is using you mm. to forward His agenda, man. Because you can do nothing against the truth but for the truth. That's right. You know. Um, yeah, all good. Yeah. All right, man. With that, Lord willing, this um, lesson was edifying. And until um, next time, you know, shalom. Shalom. Shalom.